if definitely be reporting for duty definitely so uh, it, it's an ex borg for fanatic onic which is the best uh, option for them they're just lacking in terms of the crowd control here for uh falcons on it go home here or will they be able to move forward to defend their title herein lies the answer game number one between f cap and fanatic onic oh i'm super excited for this game i don't know what to expect but yeah there's gonna be a difference already in terms of the rotation between cal tz and Kyrie. so for uh, Kyle Tizi, as much as possible, you want to expect him to be faster in getting those jungles so that, so that they will have the edge in terms of uh, taking the turtle objective. Now, at the rotation in terms of lane, it's going to be uh, an even matchup between an ex Borg and the Sounds because, because you can counter the other one. You can get uh, the Frog armor using those sides. Same goes with the uh, sustain or HP of a Sounds. But, uh, yup. Uh, gonna be a crazy game i guess for both yeah i agree right that's something that is highly unusual for cry flap tz on the thamus we'll see how it works i mean technically right now it looks like flap tz is clearing a lot quicker now forcing a recall over but look at this cal tz jumps in it deals a little bit of damage but it looks like lutpi will still be able to get out yeah but uh, that is gonna be very detrimental here for uh, lutpi because he might not, not be able to get uh, the minions, some of the minions here, which is very crucial in the early phases of the game. So, uh, Falcon Sapi Brennan, the rotation right now is uh, being effective against Fnatic Onic. So, Fnatic Onic, they're just taking their time, they're posi positioning themselves because we have the turtle now. Yeah, let's see here, right? First two minutes, no first blood as... Yeah, I think both teams, they want to play it slow. Turtle though, they might pull the trigger right here, right now. F-Cap trying to zone out members. A few with the Minion Fury in hand. Let's see Kyrie Spear Alpha on towards Flap though. First blood and Kyle will respond with the Turtle. Penalty zone on towards Keyboy. He flickers out. Good piece fine and that, there, that will be it. Right now. DD with Sans jumping in as well. And that's a kill on towards Kyle TZ. Lupi still dealing out damage. It's a two for one. Plus the turtle for Falcons AD Bren. Kyrie might want more in the bottom side. And Kyrie finds fuel in the bottom side of the map. That is a nice juggle, but it's not done yet for our players as Flap TZ kills down <laughs> or Oakley with a double kill on that. Terrista, all along I thought it's gonna it's uh, already done in terms of the team fight, but again because of this melee heroes, all the skills that they, that they can use against each other. It, again, we expected this game to be continuous damage against each other, and this is what Falcons Apron has been doing and Fnatic Onic. Now, if we go back on the turtle take, it was taken by Falcons AP Bren. Again, even though Flock Easy was still at level 3, he zoned out uh, Kyrie, but it was too early for them for a team fight, so they just got that turtle instead. But Falcons, or but Fnatic Onic, they know their edge in terms of the DPS that they have against Falcons AP Bren, hence forcing for longer team fights. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's an equal game here for yeah. both teams technically, right? Considering Fnatic Onic, yeah, sure, they got 3 kills, but they lose the newt. And well, you can see here the control. Oh, Ogwen being invasive might get punished though. Minion Fury will not connect as Ogwen will flicker out from that ult. Okay, so that is very crucial on uh, the usage of the flicker and the uh, ultimate because there's going to be the turtle uh, mm -hmm. later on. So as much as possible since you're not that the really uh, the tanky uh, type of uh, boss fight as much as possible in order to serve those resources prior uh, bigger key fight. So, uh, yep, it's gonna be crucial for them. Uh, definitely, Fnatic Onyx is on the lead for uh, this game. We have Kyrie on 2 0 1, by the way. But, good thing is that Kyle TZ for Falcon Saber Brand is at level 7. So, Retribution Damage won't be. Uh, Different, wouldn't they have different in this one? Oh, it's gonna be Galtizi winning the retribution again, though. But the fight will collapse on towards FCAP side. Flap TZ will be the trade open, misses his penalty zone at FNLC. They want to defend their purple buff, but it seems like FCAP have enough power. The to, oh, with the blazing the wet as well. He finds Oakland, though. It's going to be Falcons AB Brand now backing away. Very, very efficient uh, rotation from uh, CW at the time, but uh, there is the space for Super Marco to get that uh, um, plates up top. 
So uh, in terms of the laning, you know, Moscow and Claude could really could uh, have uh, a really different rotation spectrum that they need because as much as possible, if you are Claude, you want to do the du double laning as early as possible. Now Moscow want to do things slow. But for Fnatic Onyx, they know that the, the threat from uh, Super Marco, that's why they are rotating on that lane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, Fnatic Onyx here, they need to stabilize themselves. I think they are somehow behind slightly, but CW, I like this type of aggressive um, Claude, right? We didn't get to see it yesterday, but it seems like now CW's mindset, you know what? I'm just gonna smell blood and get blood. Mm -hmm. And speaking of uh, smell blood, uh, there's added the uh, defense on uh, taking all the blood from uh, uh, Falco's AP brand because Luffy has uh, the Brute Force breastplate but was taken down at the bottom lane. So again, it's all about timings here. There's a cross map play. By the way, for Fnatic Onyx, they got the turret up top while Falco's AP brand, they're focusing on Luffy. That is because also of the effectivity of an ex-Borg against uh, a hero composition like them. You have two fighters uh, that is really more on the sustain side. So you want the true damage, right, from uh, the ex-Borg. Yeah, and it somehow supplements with the alpha as well. The passive will give uh, true damage as well. And, well, item-wise here, no power spikes as of yet. But Fnatic Onyx here, they want to contest this third and last turtle here. Let's see though, will Falcon's AP brand be able to claim the perfect turtle? FNOC already in the vicinity, looking perhaps a potential opening with Keyboy ha um, having the flicker and the alt as well. Falcon's AP brand slowly but surely hovering around Fapsizi though, moving aggressively on towards CW's hero backing away. Retribution Ooh. will fall to the hands of Kyrie, and now Kyle TZ will Flicker out, but the last insanity will claim his life. Take a look at the Fuel? Lord Spirit again. It's Keyboy and Fuel. CW receiving damage of Lazing Nuet to the back side. Will secure Fuel. Sounds and Flap TZ now in trouble. Oh! Flap TZ survives with one HP. Things are looking good, definitely for Fnatic Onyx. But if we look at the, the gold deed, it's still on Falcon's if you brand side because Supermarket is just a. Uh, doing uh, objective taking against the Fnatic Onyx whenever there is a team fight. Yes, he used that Spear of Disruption, but he didn't really force himself to be part of the team fight. Not unlike for uh, Fnatic Onyx, they get to zone out or um, uh, CW is being zoned out by Falcon's AP brand. So if we see the continuity of the farming, it's actually uh, Super Marco continuously doing it. But uh, because of the objectives that uh, they get against Falcon's AP brand, it's actually CW who is on the lead against Super Marco. So he has uh, the Demon Hunter sword now and even the Corrosion side. Hence him being part of the team fight. Yeah, he has two kills, but I, I thought it would. There was a larger gap between CW yep. and as well Super Marco. So now, Flap TZ in the backside trying to perhaps look for an opening, but seems like the damage here will not be enough just yet. Fnatic Onyx being um, clumped up as well helps covering. But yeah, Falcon's AP brand here, comfortable lead at 2,000 gold. Lead. Yeah, but uh, since uh, F Fnatic Onyx has been staying uh, or sticking to each other so much, it gives space for Falcon's AP brand to have their minion waves flowing uh, up top and even at the bottom. So there, uh, there is a bit of a struggle here for Fnatic Onyx. If are we gonna go for a 5v5 team fight or we'll have CW clear the minion wave first and then have him as the back backup of the team fight or uh yeah, yeah another damage for them because for Falcon's AP brand the formation again is having Super Marker clear that minion wave first so that it will flow. While for Fnatic Onyx they're focusing on team fights. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be crucial for them if another turret is been, is taken down at the bottom lane. Yeah that's info though. Luffy cannot last insanity but Kyle TZ secures a lord an all-out war. Minion Fury pops SOD. Super Marco joins in and Fnatic Onyx do they have enough firepower here? Oh Kyrie will not be able oh. to secure the kill and Super Marco is there to take the trade. It's a 2 for 2 but the Lord will fall to the hands of Falcon's AP Bren. Falcon's AP Bren, nice decision, decision for them. Again, they know that Super Marco has the Spear of Destruction, so it, it will be a lot easier for him to be not part of the team fight first 
and then how the players of Fnatic Onyx use those ultimates so that if ever he comes in, there's no damage enough to uh, secure a kill against him. So 8-9 is... Uh, the score of our game is just 10 minutes and Falcon Saber Ben is just doing a step-by-step -step process here. We're in, okay, we need to win this Lorda team fight. We need to secure it as much as possible. So for Fnatic Onyx, they are a bit reacting on Falcon's AP Brent's mm -hmm. strategy, specifically Flap Fuji's play. Mm, yeah, again, with the tools that they have, right, with the x board, with the uh, Minotaur as well, they are going to play on the reacting side. And Oh, yeah. I mean, let's see, though. With the lead that Falcons AP Bren has now, uh, yeah, things are looking from bad to worse here, right? The inner turret top side is taken down, bot side as well. More space for uh, uh, FCAP to play around with. But that was really nice for the lineup of Fnatic Onyx is there's a high chance for a counter setup play. Same with what happened game number one, FCAP and YRG. Mm. They just needed that uh, good you know, theory from uh, Yums. Probably Kiboy can do that also because they also have the Zask. They could have that surprise damage from uh, CW, but uh, probably for CW, he needs uh, a wind of nature as early as now just to be secure just in case Super Marco and uh, other players from uh, Falcons AP Bren will try to find him on a, before a team fight. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Super Marco is already online as well. Three items secured plus Ooh. that wind of nature. So yeah, the damage from Super Marco will definitely be almost incalculable, but it will be so much. Fnatic on here now. Okay, CW has a wind yeah. of nature. So technically, he can put the risky play. He can yes, give out the yeah. risky plays. Let's see though. It's all a matter of timing. Oh wow. This is uh, pretty good actually because Super Marco is just a hundred lead, maybe a fifty against CW. So it just means that even though Falcon Saber Ben is at five thousand five hundred gold lead, mm -hmm. CW still has the gold that he needs to be on par in terms of itemization. They, um, Super Marco and the CW has the Trinity. They both have the Wind of Nature. So it's just a matter of. Uh, who has the better setup yeah. for whoever marksman they have, right? Because for Falcon AP Bren, yeah, Supermarket is at the bottom. Same with what they did on the first floor. For Fnatic Onyx, they need not to reveal the position of CW. Yeah, I mean, this is technically already a risky play, right? Fnatic Onyx, they somehow do not want to give the Lord freely. Considering, you know, sometimes being 4,000 behind 5,000 even, let's just turn our base and focus on defending our inhibitors. But take a look at what they're doing here, right? They're actually outside their base here looking perhaps a potential opening. So that itself is already quite risky. Yeah, that's true. Probably because they know that CW can go for a surprising way to do it. But yeah, they need to bait first the ultimate from... Uh, Ogwen or probably the IMU Minoa Siri. No, no, no. It's the Dominator Sucker Sense that a few has taken for the IMU. So look at that shred of damage from CW. Yeah. So uh, this is going to be a long juggle at this Lord. But uh, Falcons AP Bren, the minion waves are just flowing. Very disciplined, right? I've got they're playing the far lane quite, quite well. And they managed it. Yeah, I think the wave the wave clear is so on point up to this point here yep. for the side of Falcons AP Bren. They might force an error here. FNL say they might want to pull the trigger ASAP. Okay, so Luffy is here up front. Uh, look at that uh, true damage against the open. So it's gonna be hard for that uh, penalty zone as early as now, but we can see the last insanity being used. Oh! Penalty zone as well, committed! Kyrie secures the Lord! Now Blazing Duet in the backside just to provide cover, but Luffy will lose his immortality. Keyboy and Ogwen falls, but how easy he smells Luffy. Luffy looking around, hovering around. TW though is there to provide oh. cover. He's free hitting, but how easy is there with the magic power. Kyrie falls, and that is one, two, three members of Fnatic on it, down and out. Well, what a microplay there for uh, Kyle TZ. And after the kill against Kyrie, Kyrie was actually smiling because of the play. Because uh, he didn't expect that uh, it would, uh, because of that ultimate from uh, Kyle TZ, turn, there will be a turnaround of events. 
of the time. So Fnatic Onyx, they just have to be prepared if there is another skill that Falcon Safety Brand has. So KLTZ used first the Winter Crown and then went in for that uh, uh, enhanced uh, chains. And then Fnatic Onyx, they didn't expect that, oh, there's another layer of damage from uh, KLTZ. They were baited at the time. Yeah, the outplay again, right, from KLTZ. Oh, Fnatic Onyx now. Let's see what will they do. All right. I can say Hubren again. They're comfortable with their lead still. 6,000 minute, 6, minutes, almost 16 minutes of game time. So yeah, Fnatic Onyx, they, I think they need to somehow turtle in their base here. Perhaps finding a play from the base yeah. is the wisest thing to do. At yeah, this point. Yeah, that's true. So uh, they can go for a one-way push uh, just in case because for the Zask, he already has this uh, going one, Divine Glaive and the Holy Crystal. So could be a Feather Heaven for the next itemization. We've seen that from uh, some of the Zask users and uh, actually good against the lineup of Falcon's Evil Bren. Now with the Claude, you have full item. You even have the Malefic Roar. Now again, it's, it's just a matter of which team has the better set of play? Which team has the better opening mm -hmm. for their marksman? Because even for CW, I feel like he's this type of player now. I'm okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Just give mm -hmm. up, give something for me. And I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll just go against Falcon Secret Brand. Yeah, you need that perfect alley you right? And yeah. Well, let's see your purple buff contest. But it will not fall to the hands of NFO, FNOC. It seems like Falcon's AP Brand, they've done it. They've stolen the purple buff away. I think for uh, Falcon Safety Brand, they'll, they will just continue to do this until the next lore that will spawn. And uh, that is the better drop for them. And speaking of which, um, I think for Fnatic Onika, look, we see Immortality is still on the cooldown. That's why they're not even forcing to be upfront against the Falcon's AP Brand. So 17 seconds before this uh, lord to spawn, and we could see the two fighters of Falcon's AP Brand just being in front of the players of Fnatic Onik. And this has been a story of the game, right? Super Marco is at the exact opposite of them mm -hmm. as to mm -hmm. where the objective will spawn so that uh, he won't take any damage, he won't uh, exert any more effort, but when the time comes that everyone is just open yeah. from Fnatic Onik, he'll, he'll come in. Exactly, they're playing the Moskov value to its almost potential right there uh -huh. they know how to play this Moscow very very well and that's how you play it folks let's see though the Lord is and should be yeah will be a res there will be a reset on the Lord yeah they know I mean, that <laughs> there's a there's a trap though top lane I think yeah there's you <laughs> in the super mark up top so that is the reason well why even fanatic on it forced this Lord to be reset I wonder what Flappy wants to do on that area though. Damage is there, FlapTZ with the flank as well. This might be it. Oh, on target roll here for Kyrie, but the damage will not come through just yet. FlapTZ backs away. Lutpi will lose his mortality. And now with Ogwen jumping in, let's see the fight. KalTZ pouring out a lot of damage on towards a member there. Lutpi falls and CW will try to find Super Marco off cam, and he will. Sans now in trouble. Ogwen though will lose his mortality. But the knockup from Kyle TZ was huge. TW surviving. Oakland losing a lot of HP, but a kill will fall first as well as Keyboy. That's a two for two for each team. Okay, we have the. Okay, Kyle TZ bought that the Immortality, but I think that's too much up against yeah. three players. All Fnatic Onic, hence a double kill for Sans. And it was an extended team fight. Yeah. And a messy one for Falcons in the brand. There was uh, the initiative to kill Kyrie prior this lore take, but it just so happened that the, everything happened so long. It was under the second third turret. So uh, it's something that you you don't want to do if you're Falcon Safe Bren, but for Fnatic Onyx, they're doing a great job exploiting and punishing that error from Falcon's AP Bren. Mm, this might be the window that Fnatic Onyx need, right? Yeah. They got the Lord, now they're trying to turn the tides. Falcon Safe Bren still two. Two and a half thousand gold lead. Well, a CW. Oh, a CW. Got a little overzealous and punished there by Falcon Safety Friend. That's very crucial. They have the Lord. This could have been their way to take down an inhibitor even at the middle lane. So, uh, Falcon Safety very nice defense for them. And I think they expected that the CW will be farming in that area. 
Simply knew what to do mm -hmm. right after. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Falcon Saber Brand, what they need to do right now is to find and stop Sans. Mm. By the way, Sans is at 408. Yeah. And he has full item now, the Feather Evan and uh, the Blood Wings. So expect later on, if ever, there will be a nice uh, usage of uh, the Dominator's Crescent in the middle of a team fight and you have the last insanity i can't even imagine how damage it could bring against falcon safety brain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think that is going to be one of the main priority you know i think it's either you neglect sans and like take care of four other members mm -hmm. or you take down sans first and then you take care of the other members. But then again, yeah, I, I think I, I love what CW has been doing. Sure, he made a mistake earlier. Arguable, maybe a costly one. But, you know, I think he is just feeling himself right now. 21 minutes of game time. It's technically anybody's game. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a very intense game. Intense, intense in a way that it's not full of team fights. But it's a game wherein you can't commit any error, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because uh, if the Fnatic Onyx beats a team fight, it means that, for example, the other one, the other team fight, Falcon Saber Brand lost because they overextended, and the Fnatic Onyx punished Falcon Saber Brand. Same goes with Fnatic Onyx. So, um, in a way, hard CC will be very crucial for the next team fight. It's nice that Kiboy has that added kit of sustain or the you know, one Roar as compared to, oh, to Owen's Terizla, yeah. who can't uh, really much extend the team fight. So as much as possible, if you use that penalty zone for Falcons AP Brand, you need to do a follow-up burst, maybe another layer of crowd control. But a few has been using uh, the IMU, right? Mm -hmm. On a Sans Hero. Mm -hmm. Now he switches his priority right he wants that dominator's descent um let's see though with the lord now evolved lord mind you fanatic onic here again he, they need to do the cleanup they need to take care of the bottom side which is wide open so it's going to be very annoying here falcon safety brand they can take their time they need just to pull on the right timing pull the trigger on the right timing and then they can make the lord oh Kyrie. okay so there's there are folks from uh you and uh, there's a juggle actually in terms of the beacon wave for both teams and uh, this is gonna be hard for Fnatic Onyx again there is an easier route for Supermarket to be part of the team fight hence we see Keep Boy trying to jo join uh, CW as uh, much as possible into clearing that beacon wave so they can be um, it, it will be easier faster for them to be part of this uh, area of the map so expect a two minute Lord dance yeah. <laughs> for uh, the skis. Oh, I didn't uh, imagine that it's already been uh, 23 minutes for these players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and again, it seems so fast, right? But now it's late game. It's all about Adam switches. I love what Flap TZ is doing as well here, just providing very much info, gathering info, looking for. Oh, oh. You can see a play committed. But they will not commit on towards an opening just yet. Yeah, did I didn't see Kyrie using his ultimate at that time? Yeah. Yeah, he used his ultimate, oh, but it's now already put down. So uh, this is uh, the question now. The question now for Fnatic Onyx are they going to use the Blazing Duet as early as now for Fnatic Onyx? Oh! Oh, that's a catch though. On towards CW. He has immortality. Will like Loopy to keep though. But Moskov, he's split pushing. Will he commit on towards a slip pu split push? Fnatic Onyx, they will back away, and yeah, there will be no casualty, but I think that's the green light, right? Yeah. Falcon Safety Brand, they can commit to on towards his Lord. This, this is the perfect timing now for uh, Falcon Safety Brand to take this Lord, but we saw that Fnatic Onyx was able to take down a turret at the middle lane, so this is going to be a long one for Loot P. He doesn't have to put out the armor, but it's now activated after this one. So CW again bought the, the Wind of Nature. So he doesn't have the Rose Gold Meteor, he went in for the Immortality. So uh, it's them having that safety kit for CW. Um, since the Immortality is on cooldown, yeah. they changed another item. 
for the claw so they need blood right now and for Falcon's AP Bren their lead is minimized to 304 yeah it's again technically anybody's game sure yep. structure wise it's somehow yeah it's even it's even Stevens right one inhibitor for Fnatic Onyx one inhibitor for Falcon's AP Bren as well but Let's see here, Falcon's AP Bren, what will they do? They have more map control here. So, again, yeah, Super Marco, what you can do is just split push here, mid or bot, and then just join the fight. Okay, so for CW, knowing that uh, the position of Kyle PC is up there, you don't want to clear that minion wave no. alone because that is a joke. There's, there's no Rose Gold meter for CW. So, I think for Fnatic Onyx, they know that. Uh, Cal TZ is missing in the area, hence the movement of CW was uh, on the safer round uh, at that moment. So, uh, it's a bit of a, head a headache yeah. for, for this game. Yeah. Um, whoever commits the error first loses the game. Exactly, exactly. And let's see though, um, Claude here, CW, he is you know, he just, a, he's just a janitor, right? Cleaning the mid, cleaning the... Oh, no! no! SOD connects on towards the base there. Oh, CW, even with ah! the wind of nature, he falls. Now Sans pops a DD, but yeah, members of Falcon's AP brand, they were able to back away. 5v4, that's a commitment on towards the Lord. What a play, what a play for Falcon's AP brand. And even Super Marco was part of it. I, all along, I thought it was just uh, Kyle PC securing that kill against CW, but yeah, they, here comes the Lord. But for Fnatic Onyx, I think they still want to contest this one out. But we have Flap PC zoning up the players of Fnatic Onyx. Mm -hmm. Flap low, Loot P will be able still to pop that last insanity. Ogwen backs away, Kyrie popping the all as well, just for rotating and as well as keeping the passive. Um, uh, Fcap is not as easier said than done. Even though it was a 5v4, Ooh. it seems like they cannot take on the Lord. Take a look at the mid as well, push in for Fnatic Onyx. Okay, nice defense also for Fnatic Onyx, even though uh, CW wasn't part of the lineup. So we now see if you clear the minion wave at the bottom lane. As long as this one continues, it's going to be easy for Falcons A to Brent to secure other objectives against Fnatic Onyx. But we see now a set of play from the players of Fnatic Onyx. Same goes for Falcons A to Brent. Oh, minion gear was you, Super Marco, though. He's just free hitting in the back side. One by one, Immortality will pop and Kyle TZ secures keyboard. Oh, oh. Now in the back side, Kyrie and Sans repositioning. But Lutpi is caught in a four-man gang super marco again will just free hit on towards look b but look b will go out with the last insanity i think this is it for falco safer brand they can secure this one out but sans i think he's gonna force for a vision against the uh, falco safer brand but Kyle tz secures that lord and the fanatic onic uh, they have the kit to defend this one out they can secure a kill against the Falcon CP Bren, but Kiboy is down 41 seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see though, right? 21 10, 28 10 here. Lord will spawn. Fnatic Onyx defends with four. This might be it. We're almost at a half hour mark. Will Falcon CP Bren pull the trigger to end this game? Ooh, I think they can, but. Uh, they also have to take note that uh, we have two Holy Crystals for Sans. Oh, that's a lot of magic power. Yeah, so if ever they step on that spawn and uh, the Dominator's Crescent has been used, it's going to be hard for Falco's AP Brand to um, uh, kind of negate the damage. Since you have the true damage, you have the slow, and you have everything for Fnatic Onyx, so they can still defend this one out. Could be extended for another 35-minute game. Why not? Why not? We're in it for for, for that. <laughs> I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. Let's see, though. Um, yeah, FNOC, they're not backing down on this defense. Um, FCAP still playing it slow. Oh, take a look at the damage, though. They're received by Luffy. Kyrie will be able to jump out. Stunned, though, but Bye. now Keyboy. Minion Fury on towards one. The damage isn't really evident, but Flap TZ will back away, and FNOC survives for another day. Ooh, I really guess this is going to be a 30 minute a 30 minute game, but yeah, for Falcon CP Brent, since they have the advantage on those uh, minion waves, super minions rather, Fnatic Onyx, uh, they need to force that uh, last insanity from Luffy to force other players from Falcon CP Brent to back away. Oh, Wait. the knockup is huge! The damage will not come through.
would just yet though, Kyle CZ oh, wow. loses his mortality as take a look at Kyrie distracting, but Super Marco is free hitting. The damage and life seal is there. Flap CZ secures that kill. Keyboy move in. Minion Fury knocking up Super Marco and he will lose and he will fall. San secures the monster. It's a two for one in favor of FNOC. Nice defense by Fnatic Onyx again. Sans is now at 6-0-9. How can you stop a player like Sans when he uses the, the Zask and is nowhere to be found? And we, we have to commend the perseverance of Fnatic Onyx at that time. They used every single skills on point against Falcon, Safety Bread, and Supermark, I think. Um, he was too excited to kill yeah. the players of Fnatic Onyx at that time. Hence them at this position. CW is available, by the way. They can go for that push if Falcon Safety Bread can defend the minion wave. Oh, the flicker was well mean free. That's huge. Oh. Blazing do it canceled. And now it is out for Nosi. Scatter Lupi with the last insanity. Oh my goodness, you do that. Giants did it earlier. FNOC, they got one of that in their bag as well. It's a wipeout. It's out. just the big easy to the back. Oh, but it surely has a firepower, and that will be it. Game one for the Indo Rep. What a performance by Fnatic Onyx. It's it's the same strategy that you the Red Giants made on uh, the first match. They just waited on the perfect timing to